Hi, Karen. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Looks like we're having a private class today. Um, I hope not. I know Gail is coming on. Yeah, I guess everybody's squeaking in at the last minute. Yeah. Okay. How are you? You're still not wearing the necklace. Oh, yeah. I've been cooking all day. It, I've been <laughs> cooking at this sisterhood for sisterhood Shabbat this weekend. Ah. No, I wore it the other day to shul. That, that's what I do with new things. Mm -hmm. It was something my rabbi, my rabbi emeritus did was whenever he got something new, he waited till Shabbat to wear it if yeah. it was appropriate. Uh huh. So that's what. But yes, I wore it. It was beautiful. Oh, good. Nice. But no, normally I'm jumping onto this after like working out or something. So I'm usually not dressed nicely. <laughs> no. I might have to leave a little early. My son surprised us. My husband oh. has not been well and he surprised us and flew up from Florida. To oh. the weekend. And um, it's funny because he called me um, Friday morning and said, mom, you have a delivery by the front door. You have to get it as bagels. Um, and I said, Max, I'm going, I'm, I try, I'm sleeping. I'll pick it up in an hour. And then was this morning, this was, yes, this was yesterday morning. Excuse me. Okay. So, um, and then, and I hung up <laughs> and he was at the door and, and he was at the door. So then he called back and he said, I think the guy's waiting for a tip mom. You better go to the door. <laughs> so, um, I went to the door and there he was, I was like, Oh my God. He's 45 years old. You know, he has business in Florida, works in Florida. But my brother did that once. My brother, yeah, he said it a couple of times. He surprised my mom and he said, Hey, mom, can you do me a favor? Could you, he was, he called her from New Jersey. Could you open your garage door? Why? Why do you want me to open your garage door? Because I want you to see something. And he opened the garage. She opened the garage door and there he was standing in the garage. <laughs> and then one time, we met at a restaurant and he came in and then one time my dad knew I was coming. I flew down to see my parents. They were snowbirds and I asked them to please. My dad knew and I called my mom. I said, can you do me a favor? She said, what? I, I can you go outside? Why? Why do you want me to go outside? Just go outside, mom. I want you to check something out there. And I was walking down the road toward her house. So <laughs> it's fun to be able to do that for people. Yeah, oh, it was a lot of fun. Once before, he said, Mom, I sent you a, a present for Hanukkah. I just don't know why it hasn't arrived. Can you just double check? Maybe with the winds, it blew into the bushes or something. Just go and look. <laughs> and you fall for it every single time, don't you? And I fall for it, right? I know. But that's a good falling for it. Yeah. Well, I know that we're not going to have Joan today. She's had stuff, has stuff going on. She'll be back hopefully in March. Oh. Um, so, but there's Linda and Gail. Hi. And me. And Arena. Nice to see you, Arena. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Good. Happy to, happy to join you guys. And here comes <laughs> Jamie. We're potentially going to have a new person joining us today. Um, there was one class with only two people in it. A lot of people, I guess, dropped out. So private I was asked, lessons. what? Private lessons almost. Well, and the person who teaches that has, this was her second class. Oh. And she said, it's silly to teach a class for two people. So she asked if they would be willing to try, join another class. So she never got back to me when I sent her the information. So maybe she'll come. Um, at one point last semester, we had a talk about gluten free. Does that apply to any of you all? Yeah. No. Okay. So is somebody from who's maybe not on today? Cause I made my, I think Irina said yes. Yes. Irina, said you yes. said yes. Okay. I mean, I'm, on, I'm on and off. <laughs> well, my daughter-in-law cannot have yeast <laughs> like, or gluten. About challah, I think. Yeah. So. I tried a gluten-free, yeast-free bread 
last <laughs> month and it made a very good doorstop, but it was gross. <laughs> so today oh, I made a, a three, four ingredient uh, bread. It was chickpea flour, almond flour, salt, and baking powder. And it's, you know, because it's in a loaf pan, it's not very tall, but it's pretty good. I mean, you could slice it and make bread out of it, you know, have a sandwich out of it. So my husband actually bought a, I think it's a four by four pan that, you know, won't be very tall. It'll be four inches tall, but you can slice that into sandwich bread. And it's pretty good. It tastes like chickpea. If you like chickpeas, that's good. If you don't, you won't like it. Great. You send us a recipe. I will. Anybody else want it besides Irina? Doesn't hurt. All right. Yes. Jamie. Okay. Sure. You know, if you if you have somebody who is coming for Shabbat who's gluten free, you can use yeah. No. You know, you can use gluten free recipe. This just has no yeast. It's vegan. It's not bad. She'll my daughter in law will be able to use it for kiddish tonight. So well, I'm so glad everybody's here. I'm hopefully people will pop in. Um, Hi, everybody. I just I'm, got back from an eye doctor appointment where they put drops in my eyes. So if you don't mind, I didn't want to miss this delightful class, but I'm not reading too well right now. I understand. <laughs> you mean you can't focus on anything? <laughs> not great. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm getting there, but uh, I, I'm just going to listen to you for, uh, the, for, for a bit. That's fine. And Once try I to follow along. I took my daughter when... Oh my gosh, my daughter was in sec first or second grade and they said they needed to have their eyes checked. So I took them to Children's Hospital. They dilated their eyes. They said, eh, they'll be good in a couple hours. Took her out to lunch, dropped her off at school. The teacher called, you need to come get her. She can't see anything. She can't focus. She, her eyes were dilated till the later the next morning. Uh, Poor thing. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know how old your daughter is, but I remember I've been wearing glasses since I was 10. What I remember as a kid, they would get dilated. You were totally, you're right. You were out of commission until the next, for the rest of the day. It's a little bit better in this day and age, I find. Um, you know, much, much better. But it depends still, how much they put, you know, how much they. That's true too. So I will follow mm. and I, but uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to recite. Not sure what it. I'm reading. Unless you know it by heart. And then there you go. Exactly. So we <laughs> left off with Kiddish and um, Nancy said she did not receive um, what I sent you guys. Um, I sent you two things. One was a PDF and I noticed that um, it cut off Baruch Ata Adonai on a couple pages. But then I that's when I tried to send you a PDF of the actual presentation. But then I sent you updated pages from the other document. Did everybody get those? I did. Yeah. Who did, I did. not? Yes. I did not. yes, got it. Okay, I'll resend it. Um, um, oh. And then, um, so. Um, before, before we start. Sure. I'm sorry, remember last week you asked us if we had things that we wanted to learn? Yes. And this wasn't on my brain then, but since then I've actually run into it several times and it made me think. And nobody else, this may not be relevant to anybody else. And if it isn't, then, you know, I don't want to take class time up to do it. But if you happen to have it um, either recorded or um, somehow available, I would appreciate it. You know, there's that paragraph kind of in the middle of Kadish to Rabbanan that is like different than in regular Kaddish. Yeah. Um, and clearly I'm running into that obviously all the time now and I could really use some help with that. Um, that's not something that we do at my shul. Um, I can find you a recording of it if that's okay. Yeah, that would be great because we're doing it. I I'm getting it like all the time, obviously. And you had at requested to do learn Shacharit service. Yeah. That you can go on to the Women's League website to my semester last semester. It should be there and you can, that's what we did last semester. 
Yeah, and, and I that's unfortunately what I was. But you can watch that. Um, Do you have all the recordings out for that? Yes, they're all on the Women's League website. If you sign in um, and you go to Hebrew classes, you can find all of them recorded. Great. Okay. Thank you. I will. You're I welcome. Will make, I will make those up then. Thank you. I'm also going to send you a link to a website that the conservative movement, I don't know who put it together, but it's conservative rabbis or camp. I think they're rabbis. And it is the entire Shabbat morning service. I think almost the entire thing um, recorded audio and you can slow it down. Oh, oh. Well, it's in the, where would I'm it gonna, I'm going to send it to you. Okay. And after, but what's nice is if you want to work on Ashray, you can slow her. Ashray, yo, shvay. That's a little creepy, but you can do that. <laughs> well, Ashray, I got, but some of the stuff I don't. So, so that's all there. You can look at it. I looked for um, Shacharit. It's it's just Shabbat right now. So, um, okay. So back to Kiddush, if you remember, um, I asked my rabbi friend and Aranon is just, um, sorry, Rabbanon. So Rav used to, we think of a Rav as a rabbi, but right. long, long ago, you would say, oh, Rav Shlomo, Rav, and it was just a person. It was like, Mr. Sir. Um, it didn't become more distinguished until later. Um, but Maranan it are for those distinguished people. So Savri, like, okay, get, so it was a call to order. Like, okay, we're getting ready to pray. Chop, chop, listen, listen, it distinguished people, regular people. So um, this, that's basically calling everyone atten to attention that we're getting ready to do Kiddush. So last time, I think everybody got to read the first line. So we're going to work on. Um, let's do the first. Let's we'll do first line, and everybody who wants a turn can take a turn reading the first line. And then once we do that, we'll go on to the next line. Does that make sense? All right. Would someone like to start the first line? <laughs> I'm happy to read it if you want, just so you can hear it pronounced, and then, unless somebody is, wants to do it. All right, Irina, you go for it. Baruch Ata Adanoi Eloheinu Melach Alam Asher Ba'ar Put a little heart. Ba'ar Ba'ar Banu Mikol Om, yam, um, 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 vero memanu, um, Mikol, lash, 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 That's a nun. Lash, uh, one. Just lash, shown. Oh. Oh, this is that's not a vav. That's a that's the ovel. That can be very confusing. Lishavon, <laughs> but it only takes one identity. So if there's a dot, yeah. it's a vowel. Good job. Well, Thanks for being the starter. All right. Someone I'm like to... class. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Would someone She's like to brave? Speak? She is brave, and nothing yeah. happens if you make a mistake. That's not... We don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Karen? Okay. Baruch Gata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Baharbanu Mikol Am Virom Manu Mikol Lashon. Yes, so this second, third to last word, that's actually three, five Vir syllables. Ve. The Ro, Ro, because the oh. O is with the Resh, then the oh. Sha gets its own uh, syllable, Veromemanu. Veromemanu, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's some, because I was listening to somebody Davin yesterday, and he, they put in an extra syllable where there's a Shiva. Again, the Shiva oh. police are not going to come and get you. 
Um, so, but just, you know, some people want to be specific. All right. Nice job. Thank you, Karen. Would someone like to try the net? Try it? Sivian. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Am Verome Manu. Verome Manu Mikol Lashon. Beautiful. Thank you. Would anyone else like to try that line? I'll do it. All right. Go ahead, Gail. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Am Verome Manu Mikol Lashon. Nice job. Okay. Linda. All right. Baruch Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Am Verome Manu Mikol Lashon. Good job. Anyone else? Want to give it a try? <laughs> I know we. I have it's a quick question. Be... Sure, uh, Debbie. You sent two different PDFs last the other day. One Correct. is twenty-three pages. Yeah. One is twenty pages. They don't look that much different, other than the fact that one is three more pages. Which one are we? Do you want us? To, are we using? Uh, discard the one with all the pink backgrounds because it cut off the beginnings of prayers. So the one that has mostly white backgrounds. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice um, job. I'll go. Oh, great. <clears throat> Sorry, just trying to get lunch in. I get it. Okay. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halom Asher Bahar Banu Mikalam Verum. Oh, hold on. Say. <laughs> Verumanu Mikal. Five syllables. Verumemanu. It's five syllables. Verumemanu. You know, I was practicing it while you all were doing it, and maybe and the poof. big on locks got, got in the way. It, it, poof. <laughs> Verumemanu uh, Mikal Lashon. Nice job. Does anybody want to try it who hasn't had a chance yet? All right, we'll go on to the next line. Who's going to be brave to try the next one line? Shall I read it and then you can hear what it sounds like? Yes. Vikid dash vikid ve kid. See the two vowels together. Vikid shanu ve mitzvotav. Vatiten lanu Adonai Eloheinu beahava moadim lesimcha. Hagim Uzmanim Le Sason. And check out Le Sason. If you notice the shin is missing a dot, it shares it with the Vav. That's how you know that it's a sin, not a shin. But you could make the assumption that it's sharing with the first shin, but I know that it's Le Sason. That could be very confusing. All right. Would someone like to try it next? I'll do that. Thanks, Linda. Okay. The Kitshanu, the Mitzvotav, the Titanlanu Adonai, Eloheinu, the Ahava, Mo Adim, the Simcha, Hagim, Uzmanim, the Sasson. Nice job. Thank you. Who would like to go next? I can, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Okay. The key, the key, the key, Shanu, the mitz, the nitzo tav. This is really small for me. I really should have it pulled up in my, that's part of my problem right now. Um, so let me bring it up a little bigger. Okay. Eloheinu, Melech. Ha'olam Asher Bahar. Wait, am I doing the right line? We're on the third line. <laughs> okay. Um, Vatitain 
Lanu Adonai Elohenu Ah what is under the Baahava Mo Adim Lisha? I make it smaller again. Lishim Ha. Careful, that's a sin. Lis, look at that. Lishim Ha. Um. Gotta make it smaller to get it to fit in. Uh oh, it's cut off. I can't make it smaller. Why can't I? I know Sassoon's in there, but I can't see it because I blew it up. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, Hagim, I can't see anything. Um, was, uh, Uzmanim. Yeah, it's cut off. Oh, wait. Lassasson. Good job. Technical troubles, you overcame them. Sorry. Would somebody like another and like to have a turn to try it? All right, Gail. Vekid Shanu, Vemit Votav, Veti Tan, Lanu. We'll look at that word again. Veti Ten. Good. Veti Ten Lanu. Adonai Eloheinu Be'ahava Mo Adin Le Simcha Hagim Uzmanim Le Sasson. Nice job. Thank you. Anybody else? All right, go for it, Karen, and then. Uh, Irina after Karen. Akid Shanu, Bamitz Votav, Vatiten, Lanu, Adonoi, Elohenu, the Ahava, Mo, Mo, Sadim. That's a Ayin. Oh, Mo Ani, Mo Adim. Good. The Shimcha. Careful, check out the, that. The, uh, the, uh, the som, huh? No. The, look at the vowel underneath it. The, the sim, huh? <coughs> uh, im, uv, uh, no. Uzmanim, le sasson. Nice job. Let's go back to the fourth to last word. Lasim Ha. Do you hear a word in there you know? Happiness. Yeah, Simcha. Simcha. So if you think of Lasimcha, you'll remember that it's a sin, not a shin. Tricky. Okay. It feels like they're just waiting for you to. Yeah, it's just up. Up. Yeah. All right, Arena. Okay. Um, Vekidshanu Bamitsotan. Let's look at that one more time. Be, be, meet, so, tav. There's that. All right, here you go. Here's an exception to the rule I just said. It's a vav with the dot above it. Be, meet, vo, tav. So uh, here I was wrong. I said it's either going to be one or the other. Here's when it's both. A vav with. Oh, you know what? Because it's after schwa. I think it should be. Yes. Because it would will be wow. Okay. Oh, whatever. Be meets be meets water. Oh, be meets what tough. There you go. A mitzvah. There it is. Mitzvah. It's a mitzvah. Be mitzvah. Vatitan Lanu Adonai Eloheinu Be Aha Va Mo Adim. Le simcha hagim uzmanim la sa son. I have a question. Okay. <laughs> because you said uzmanim, but it also can be vuzmanim. It can no, be like va with it, it, u. With but in this case, it's u. Uzmanim. Why? 
That's a very good question. <laughs> that I don't know the, the Hebrew rule for it. Okay. But I think you're right over here, Bemitz Votav. It the Shva, so it's like in English when two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking. <laughs> so that it's not an O, it's a Vav with its own vowel. Here I'm not sure why, but it's Uzmanim. And I know that because I've said this kiddish enough times and heard it. <laughs> that, that's the only good answer I can give you. It's called it's practice. It's... Anyone else want to try it? Is that your hand, Sivian? Yes. All right, go for it. The key do shanu the meats votav the meats votav the t ten lanu adonai elohenu the ahava mo adim the simcha hagim. What did we say? Uz manim le sing si le sasson. Beautiful. Thank Anybody you. else want to have a turn? I'm looking sideways because I'm looking at you on my laptop screen. So that's why I'm looking off to the side. We know you're looking at that chickpea bread. <laughs> no, it's in the other room. If I was, I'd be eating it all. Mm -hmm. All right. It's good, huh? It's not, but let's put it this way. I was pleasantly surprised that it wasn't a, um, what do you call it? A doorstop again. Mm. Okay. Next line. I don't want to miss anyone. May I? Sure. Okay. I figured out how to do this on my smartphone. Okay. Et yom chag hamatsot Say, is it a who? Hatse. What's the little dot in between? Haze, sorry. Uh, we don't know. It has something to do with uh, grammar or something. I don't know the, all those rules. Even the rabbi the other day, Rabbi Ellen said, don't worry about the dot. <laughs> um, Zaman Kerutenu Mikra Kodesh. Hold on, try that mem word again. It means Egypt. Mitzrayim. There you go. Ki banu bacharta. Good. Did you say those as vets or bets? I couldn't I tell. I did not. Kivanu Vaharta. Nice job, Jamie. They're not easy words on this line. Yeah. Who's going to be brave? All right, Sivian, is that your hand up? Well, it wasn't, but I'll do it. Which <laughs> I <one>? did. Uh. <laughs> well, I saw Sivian's hand go like yeah. in front of the screen, so I wasn't okay. sure. We're doing et, yo. Yes. Yes. Ha Hamatsot. Haze Zaman Harutenu Mikra Kodesh Zacher Litsi At Mit Rayim Kivanu Vaharta. Nice job. Seems like you might have read this before, Sivian. I have heard that before. <laughs> I can tell. Was that you, Karen, who who said she wanted to? Uh, yes. Go ahead. Um in a brave moments, but now let's see. Et yom hag hamatsot ha haze zman her herutenu mikra kodesh zeker litziat mitzrayim ki Banu Bahar Baharta. Nice job. Rhoda, did I see your hand up? All right, go for it. Et Yom Hag Hag Hamat uh, just wait a second. Hamatsot Haze uh, Zamar. Look at the ending of that word. 
Oh, Zaman, sorry, Zaman. Uh, you know, it's funny when I watch other people do it, I do it perfectly. When I have to ah, do it myself, too. I get very nervous and I just blow it. I do. It's normal. Okay, Bones. Zaman. Okay. Herutenu, Mikra, Kodesh, uh, Zecher, Litziat, Mitz, okay, Mitz Rayim, Ki, Vanu, Vacharata. One more time. Va, ha, vacharta. Good job. This happened to me the other day. I get up to lead. I'm following the leader in Minion. I know every word. I get up there to do it, and I'm fumbling around like there's cotton in my mouth. <laughs> but I also know that the, there's a gentleman in Minion who afterwards he'll come up and go, you missed a word. Oh. <laughs> so he wasn't there the other day. I read much more smoothly. <laughs> That's like all you need. Linda. I have that same thing. I follow along and I read perfectly with you all. And then mm -hmm. it's my turn and I fumble. But it it's okay happens. because nothing happens if you fumble. You fix your you fix it and keep going. Right. Et Yom Hag Hamatsot Haza Zaman Herutenu Mikra Kodesh Zecher Litziat Mitzrayim. Ivanu Baharta. Nice job. Some of this language is similar to Friday Night Kiddish. Yeah. Um, Kivanu Baharta, Kivanu Baharta, but it's a different tune on the holiday. Oh. Anybody else want to try it? All right, Gail. Et Yom Chag Hamamo Hama Sot Hazeh. Zaman Har U Tanu Tenu Mik Mik Ra Kodesh Zecher Litsi At Mitzrayim Ki Vanu Vahar Ta. Nice job. Anyone else? Same thing with the cot. In Irina. At Yom Hag Hamat Sot Hazer Zeman He Rutenu Mikra Kodash Ze Her. Yeah, they have lit so lit lit si ad lit si ad ki vanu vaha rat. One one more time on that one. Vaha rat ta. Vaha rat. The no, red does it's only har because oh, it's wa, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wa har ta. Good job. Oh, because of shwa. Oh. Yeah. Because of that shwa. <laughs> shwa. Anybody else? Did everybody who wanted to read get a turn? All right, I'm gonna ask you a question. Looking at this line, there is a clue that this is for Passover if you didn't know. Is there any Passover clue words in here? Oh, Matzot. Ah, matzo, yep, yeah, matza. Gail? Um, is Egypt. Yeah. How about hug? Is that not uh, a holiday? Uh, yeah, hug yeah. what? Oh, hug ha yep, yeah, the, the holiday of Passover. Oh, yeah. hug There's another one in here you may not know, Zaman Herutenu. So every yeah. holiday has a name in Hebrew, and Passover is hug ha aviv, hug ha uh, and Zaman Herutenu, I, I can't remember what Herutenu is, but we'll see it in the translation. But those are some clues. We're talking about Passover, Kiddush. All hmm. right. Well, Last line. Who would like to try it? I'll do it. Thanks, Linda. Um, the Otanu Kidashta. Mikol Ha'amin Umo Ade 
Tad Shecha Be Simha Usa Son Hin Haltanu. Nice job. Who would like to be next? <clears throat> All right, Gail. She's brave. Ve Otanu Higashta Nihol Nikol Ha Amin Umo Ta De One more time. U Umo A De. Good job. Kad Shecha Besim Ha Uv Shah Uv Sasson Hin Chau Tanu. Nice. Nope. Anyone else? I'll try. Thanks, Jamie, and then Karen. Okay. <clears throat> The Otanu Kad Kad Kadashta. Look at the vowel under Kuf. What is it? Key? Key, yep. Oh. I've never seen it. Is that is that Kidash? Is that has something to do with Kiddush? You got it. Kidash. All right. Me call ha amin umo an umo an de umo what's the word umo a de kacha besimha of sa son hin in Hal Tanu. Nice. Karen? The Tanu Kid Kid Shut. No. Kiddish. Oh my goodness. Kid Dashta. Yep. Nicole Ha Amim Um Umo Umo Ad. Die. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Die. Kad Uv Last word one more time. He hin chal tanu. Nice. Good job, ladies. Who else? Sivi Ann. The old. Tanu Kadashta Mikal Haamim Umo Ade Kad Shecha Basimcha Uv Sasson Hinhal Tanu. Good job. Okay. Irina. Ve um, Otanu. He dash ta me call ha amim umo a day kad sheha be be sim ha uf sa son hin ha le tanu hin hal tanu so those because all those shvas oh hin hal Tanu. Nice. None, none of them pronounce actually. You hin hal Gail, it looks so nice. You're trying to block the sun out of your yeah. face. I'm jealous. I saw it for about five minutes earlier today. Uh -huh. Um did normally, anybody normally here it's been excessively cloudy and I'm great, which is why I'm not taking the sun out of my face. Good I'm for you. Absorb it all these days. Is there anybody who would like to have a turn? On the next line. Oh, well, here we go. 
Okay. So the next line, it's going to go pretty quick. So who would like to start it? All right, Karen. Baruch atah Adonai mekadesh um, Yisra Yisrael v'chaz manim. Nice. Irina. Baruch atah Adonai mekadesh Israel v'cha zemanim. Nice. Linda. <laughs> Oh, Linda, are you muted? We can't hear you. I'm muted. Baruch Atadonai, Mekadesh Yisrael, Bahaz Banim. Nice. Sivian. Baruch Atadonai, Mekadesh Yisrael, Bahaz Banim. Great. Rhoda. Baruch Atadonai, Mekadesh Yisrael Bahaz Manim. Great. Amy. Amy. Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh Yisrael Bahaz Manim. Great. Gail. Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh Yisrael. The has manim. Beautiful. Is there anybody who hasn't had a turn that once one? I know you're going to recognize this last line, the Shachianu. We say it, I cannot remember if it's first and second night or just the first night, because I think it depends on the holiday, but at least the first night we add this in. <clears throat> Would anybody like to try it? All right, Karen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehekianu Viki Manu Vihig Anu Vihig Vihig Vihigianu Lazman Hazer. Good job. And interesting when you read Viki, I always heard it as Viki Yemanu. Oh. Technically, the Shva goes with the E vowel, so it's Viki Manu. I've never heard anybody say Viki Manu. It's always Viki Manu. Viki Manu. So pronounce it, it technically it's Viki Manu. Never heard that before. Never heard it said properly. All right. Um, usually because we're singing it. Who would like to go try it? Wait, can you say that again? It's not Viki Manu? Technically, if you look at it, Vav is a, is a syllable. Right. The Kuf and Yud go together because two vowels go a walking. The first one gets the the key. So it's funny. Mm -hmm. But usually we say Chechechianu, the key Manu. Right. So it's technically the key Manu, but we usually say the key Manu. The key Manu. Right. Huh. Anybody okay. else? Okay. Gail? Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shechechianu Veki Yemanu Vehi Giyanu Lazman Hazeh. Nice. Linda? Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shechechianu Veki Manu Vehi Giyanu Lazman Hazeh. Great. Sivian. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shehechianu, Shehechianu, Veki Yamanu, Vehigi Yanu, Lazman Hazeh. And Sivian just got me to look at Shech, I usually hear people say Shehechianu, but if you look, it's Shehechianu. Yeah. My whole life, it's. I always <laughs> thought it was Shechechianu. It's Shechechianu. Again, the police, the vow police, are not coming after you. Shechechianu. Yeah. <laughs> Who else would like to sing it or to try it? Not to sing. Irina. Baruch Ata Adonai 
Eloheinu melech haolam, shehehiyanu veki imanu ve vehigi anu yano vehigi vehigi anu las man haza. Nice. Anybody else? Amy. Okay, uh -huh. Jane. Urcha ta adonoi elohinu melech haalam sheh sheh chel anu viki viki manu vehig anu right vehigi anu that one actually has an extra syllable yeah. yeah. Higianu Lazman Hase. Nice. Is there anybody who hasn't had a turn? Well, let's see what you just read. Would someone like to read it in English? All right, Karen. Thank you. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has chosen us from all peoples and has raised us above all tongues and has sanctified us with his commandments. Oh, I missed the his, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, and you have given us, Adonai our God, appointed times for happiness, holidays, and special times for joy. This festival of matzot, or matzah, yeah, matz, matzah, our season of freedom, a holy convocation in memory of the exodus from Egypt. For you have chosen us and sanctified us above all peoples. In your gracious love, you granted us your special times for happiness and joy. Blessed are you, Adonai, who sanctifies Israel and the appointed times. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has granted us life and sustenance and permitted us to reach this season. Thank you. So, Zaman Cherutenu, the season of freedom. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing we kept hearing, things that relate to Kaddish or, um, is sanctification. So holy, or, you know, oftentimes we'll hear Kiddush is Kadosh, 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 holy, also sanctification. Um, so I'm going to attempt to sing it to you. And I know, of course, when I'm like on the spot, sometimes it's, but um, if I can do it well, I will send you a recording. Avri mara non varaba non varabotai, baruch Adonai. Eloheinu melech haolam bore pari chagafen. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher bachar banu mikol aham. Verumim anu mikol ashon. Vekid shanu bemitzvotav. Vetiten lanu. Adonai Eloheinu. Biahava moadim lesimcha. Hagim uzmanin lesason. Et yom hag hamatzot haze zeman cherutenu mikra kodesh zecher litziat mitraim kivanu vacharta veotanu kidashta miko haamim umoade kachecha besimcha ufsason hin hiltanu baruch ata adonai mekadesh israel vechazmanim. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam shechechianu vekiyamanu vehigianu lazman chazeh. Thank you, Rhoda. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> um, so that is Kiddush. Um, Maybe, can, can you read the first line just slowly? Baruch Ata Adonai. What? Savri, the fir, very okay. first line? Yeah. Savri Maranan Verabanan Verabotai. But I'm going to be honest with you, I've never heard, I've never seen Verabanan before. So I think it's usually, it's not usually there in most Kiddishes. Baruch. Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Bore Pri Hagafen. Yeah, that part is. Maranan Varabanan Varabotai. Thank you. Kiddish for the holiday. And it's the same tune for holidays, but of course it wouldn't say 
Moadim Lasimcha, um, it would have different wording, but it's the same tune basically um, for Rosh Hashanah, for Passover. Um, when else would you do it? Because you don't say Kiddush on Yom Kippur. A Sukkot. Would be also. nice. No. no. <laughs> yeah. So um, awesome. And I wanted to share with you. Are there any questions about Kiddush for the holiday? I will send you the recording. I challenge you mm -hmm. to try to learn the Kiddush for your Passover table this year. You have the words, you know them, you can read them very well. And if you're musical, sometimes putting the words <laughs> to the melody makes it easier. In my husband's case, it just makes it much more confusing. <laughs> <Bear that. laughs> um, I wanted to show you that website that I'm going to send you. Um, so here is Kabbalat Shabbat, Friday Night Mariv, Pazuka de Zimra, Shachari. This is all Shabbat, by the way. Oh, Hallel, Torah so service, Torah blessings, Torah trope, Haftorah blessings, Haftorah trope, yeah. Shabbat Musaf, Shabbat <laughs> Mitzvah. So you pick one. Wow. Well, it's not playing. Oh. And if you click these dots, you can affect the speed. Yeah. So so she sounds a little drunk when she goes at 0.75, but it's you're able to slide the slider back and forth and to have her repeat things and take it very slow. So um, it's great when you're working on Shabbat with prayers, which we're not, but um, it'll just give you, you know, some of those prayers for Shabbat you, you requested, but there you can practice them. So, so you have to go to website and after from I'll website. Say, yeah. I'll send it to you. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to you. A little bit um, to go. So yes, it makes it much easier. Um, so I, does anybody need me to resend the PDF? No, okay. Um, so, and Linda, I will get, try to find you Kadish to Rabbanon. Um, that is not something we do in our synagogue, I know the bat mitzvah class for women's league is working on it. It's not something I've ever done because it's not usually done in our shul. Any questions? I'm not, I can show you what's coming. I'm sure you have it there on your screen. Um, let me get back to where I was. Um, so next time we're going to work, we're going to, there's not a lot of like there's not a lot of prayers for it's a lot of Hebrew paragraphs for Orchatz. Um Karpas, there's a prayer, Yachatz. Um so we'll go through those pretty quickly. Magid, I don't know if how many of you know the song Halach Ma'anya, but I'll have to learn it really quickly. Um but I know parts of it, like, you know, that Hebrew school brain, if you went to Hebrew school, it's like, oh, yes, that's back there somewhere. Um, so we'll do that. And then the four questions. And thank um, God none of us are young enough where we no. are. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't have a kid at your table, sometimes the whole, at my house, if um, my want... great niece who's seven, she doesn't, they don't do Jewish at their home. So... You know, then we just decide, oh, let's all sing it together. So that's what we do. Yeah. When you have no child to embarrass. <laughs> um, so we do have class next week. Then the following week, I am out of town and um, we're moving my in-laws in Arizona and Phoenix from 
assisted to independent living. And I just don't know what I'll be doing. It would be noon. So I'm hesitant because I don't know what we're going to be doing. How intense we'll be into boxes. So we'll plan on meeting next week. Then not on the 24th, but then be back again on the 3rd. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Any other questions? Okay. I just have one comment. Sure. Did everyone get their outlook? I have to. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. I'm sure you noticed. I did not get mine. Picture. I did not get mine. No. 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 Oh. Hopefully it's coming. Okay. What, what about it? I don't know if you can see. It's Debbie. Oh, Debbie's oh, there. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. So it's all of us that come on Macombiahad, and this is what we look like every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday on the screen together. And the uh -huh. person next to me is my co-chair, Toby, Toby Holtzman, mm -hmm. and um, we work together. So mm -hmm. it's fun because it's, you know, I didn't know most of these people before COVID started. Uh -huh. so, um, so it's very exciting. You know, it's a magazine just about women's league. So it's taken them a while to get that out. Uh, yeah, I haven't received one in a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's that Very one? Nice. This is a picture. Is this a picture of the bat mitzvah class? Um, that's what okay. I was wondering. Um, nice. Yes, it may be the bat mitzvah class. I see my friend Marlene in there. Yes. Oh, that's is. very nice. Very interesting. Nice. Yes. Got it. Look forward in the mail. My son went to graduate school for two years on Zoom. He. Wow. Never he when he went to graduation, it was the first time he met anybody in his class in person. Oh. But it's amazing that you can have incredible speakers and bring in people that you wouldn't necessarily be able to fly in. Um, so it's got its pros and cons, but um, I hope some of you are thinking about coming to convention in July because it would be very fun to meet you in person. Um, we had a rabbi come in. We brought him in um, last weekend. I met him through Women's League, and he his his name is Rabbi Ed Rosenthal, but he goes by the name Scooby Jew because he <laughs> started working in is it not Rochester, maybe Rochester, and his way to reach the, the Hillel students was to say he, his love is of water and the environment. So he takes these and he still does it. He's not employed anymore, but he's now in St. Augustine and he takes Jewish students from Hillel scuba diving and oh, he nice. helps them learn to do it. And then they go into the ocean and they pull water bottles and garbage out of the ocean. And they, I found out it's the lids. They take water bottle lids and turn them into yods and mezuzahs and they're working on kiddush cups. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had many Zooms with him and I get to the hotel to pick him up for dinner and he's short. And I went, I guess I always assumed he was tall because you don't know how, you know, unless you've seen right. somebody standing. And if even when you see them standing, if they're not standing next to something that you can get a sense. So I was like, oh, he's not as taller than me. <laughs> so because um, I'm about five, two, maybe he was about. Five, 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 six, five, seven, but not very tall, and it was surprising. So you just your frame of reference is that is from here up. So yeah, Gabby, where do you live? Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, oh. Wow. the home of the almost team that went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> so close, but yet so far next year. Where is the convention? <laughs> In Schaumburg, Illinois, in a oh um, well, that's suburb. not that far. It's well, it depends where you live. Well, right. I live in St. Louis. For me, that's yep. not that far. And we're happy because our we're part of the region, Central Great Lakes region, and I can drive there. We're going to carpool. Our region. A lot of us are going from my sisterhood, but if you're from California, it's quite a flight. New York, it's right. a long trip from the yeah. East Coast. Yeah, so they tried to 
last one we had in person was in DC, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. And then I remember there was one in Vegas. So they try to spread it around. Yeah. So, yep, let's hope it's happening in person. That's the plan. I hope it wasn't in Vegas in the middle of July. <laughs> no, back then they were doing it in December. Okay. Um, um, you do not want to be in Vegas in July and August. Uh, I know. Well, they're trying to do things in the summer now just because <laughs> I think it's maybe easier for some people and it's on a three year cycle now. <clears throat> so, our last one was in, um, I think it was March 2020. <clears throat> oh. Something like that. So, it's hard to believe it's been three years. Mm. We made it. <clears throat> Hey, Debbie, well, what's the name of the, the um, scuba diver artist fellow? His name is Rabbi Ed Rosenthal. Okay, thanks. And he's, oh, he does a presentation on, so something he taught us that I just didn't get his first presentation is when you read the Torah at creation, water was not created during creation. Water existed before creation. And he would argue that God and water are the same, same source. And um, his te basic teaching that I walked away from, from the Women's League program was, it clearly states that God gave people the land to be stewards of the land. God did not give people water. And that it's our job, it, we can't destroy any of it, Baal Tashrit, but specifically we didn't get water. That was not ours. That's God's. And so we are destroying the water um, in so many ways. Oh. He, he's a vegetarian. He talked about not eating fish because the fishing industry is it, our waters are overfished. I said to him, Great, I've gotten my husband to stop. We don't eat much red meat. I got him to like fish. Now you're telling me not to eat fish. <laughs> I said, and he preferred that we just not eat chicken either, because these <laughs> everything we eat require but especially cattle require a huge amount of water to process it um and so but i'm like pretty soon i'm gonna have to look at my husband and say okay you get beans and veggies that's all we can eat so no offense to anybody who's vegan but i don't think my husband's gonna go for it <sighs> so anything else ladies <laughs> No, thank you. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom. Next week, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom everybody. Week. Thank you very much, Debbie. Have a, you're welcome. Have a wonderful you. weekend. Yeah, you too. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.